Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Depending on the time and location you are tuned to our channel, thanks a lot for the visit. It is said that social media does not forgive, internet does not forgive because it's like an archive and you don't know how far it's going. Chief Akogu now came out to say he never supported Ken, you know, and things have been digging out, we've dug out things, you know. We we'll beg your pardon that uh, this V note exactly 10, I mean, one year ago. Exactly one year ago, Chivakoku said it. To beg your pardon that we are bringing this uh, old V note, but it's to reiterate something because he has just made a claim that he never supported Ken and that uh, he never dined with Ken, he never encouraged anybody. So listen to it, listen to it. See on the other side. We'll, we'll give you updates of what is cooking now because it's like this grand community, everybody has their turn. It was a time for Modern Jennifer, it passed. There's a time for Osters the old and German machine. There was a time for OCG. There was a time for Elder Sisman. There was a time for 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 OL. There was a time for many people have their time. Now it's time for Chief Akogu, and we have remembered him. So these are the evidence of what he said and how he misled the masses. You know. So just listen to this and drop your comment in description. Things it, his own time has come probably this time around. Things are unfolding about him, you know, because he has made an assertive claim that he never told anybody to follow Ken. See you on the other side. Good morning, Nigerians. My name is Rimi Shivkari Sajiri Najai, the Akogun Abekoya of Yoruba land. A lot of people have been calling me to say something about what is going on. But I keep silent because uh, I have to be very, very careful. Truly, I was in a meeting yesterday and some people asked some questions. And it's very somehow when I got to see a write up this morning saying that uh, he said this busment is going to be next year. It's a lie. I don't know the reason why people are like this. Someone will sit down his covered zone and started writing jargons. I always say this that disbursement is for sure. UAAG disbursement is for sure. And it's going to be this month of November, by like God's grace. Apostle Ken Wakama is the one. God, we used to disperse this money to the poor beneficiary of this nation. How will I will say this is going to be next year. It's a big lie. I'm going to be the last person to say that. Also, this um, another write up saying that uh, I said beneficiary is going to get 100,000 naira. In the initial stage, UAG never began with any beneficiary or close ahead. They always said they are dealing with NGO. And uh, during the uh, Ciovilo's uh, time, is the one busy selling closer bundles telling Nigerians they are going to receive billions of Naira. UAG has never come out one day saying that they are going to give billions Naira to Nigerians, to any, any NGO or uh, or I say, close ahead. What they always say that if you are NGO, we need your support to move forward, which I believe some NGOs always support UAG. They have never come out one day and said, as a bundle owner, come out and support us. What they always said is they are dealing with NGOs. Okay, let's take it for example. As an NGO, getting five thousand closer head under him, him or her, 
who is going to pay the NGO for this whatever amount of money being given to poor beneficiary for now at least we have to take it and uh, on the day that uh, the mother was given to Apostle Kema Kama there was a, a, a man lecture saying that we can go out now and start collecting fresh data we should not disburse to those that we don't know as i'm telling you one beneficiary is in under uh, 1000 or 2000 ngos because we are using the same data that's what they say go back go to your church go to your mosque go into villages collect fresh account number because this money there is no way ngo can escape it you must dispose the money to the poor beneficiaries but what we are expecting in billions we should just erase our mind out of it telling nigerians that uh, closer i mean NGO will get two, two, two billion or three billion. That uh, close ahead, we collect uh, 100 million or 200 million. It is the time of trophy loss when it was coming off. So, and we all know that this project we are talking about, UAS slash UAG project. The project is about 10 years project. And what they are doing now is just a strong. By next year, when the re-project will start, everybody will start making millions of nairas, you know, very easily. We are going to use 10 years, 10 good years to run the project. So whatever, we get from UAG now. We should just take it for our Christmas celebration. At least, uh, well, as I say, our bread is better than none. And we should all know that we are on this uh, uh, disbursement for almost seven years. We will get it today, we will get it tomorrow, we will get it tomorrow. And a lot of people have died. So this one is going to be like open our ways. When we should, we should just be expecting other grants from driven angles. So as he says once more that I Shifa never said this was meant is going to be next year. There is nothing we stop this was meant. Even the devil cannot stop it. And I thank God, as from day one, you all know that there is a uh, um, different uh, VN flying around. And it is not Apostle Ken, he is not the one that owns the mandate. But since the day the real UAS have come out to say this is the man that will dispose. This is the man that we choose. This is the chosen one. This is the man God has chosen to dispose. Since then, everybody just keeps silent. So for you all to know that Apostle Ken is the real man to dispose this morning. So Nigerians, I'm giving you an assurance that by God's grace, disbursements will not pass this month. We have by God's grace. And work is going on on the ground. Apart from verification, they are working. So God bless you all as you listen to my PN. Share it, let it go viral. Thank you all.